La la la. Okay. Hi, good morning, Blake with Boulevard Home. We're in our Thermador kitchen, and today we're gonna talk about the seven common mistakes that people make. I should say the seven deadly sins that people make when it comes to appliances that affect the life of their product and how much money you'll save in the long run because you don't have to be replacing or fixing these products. We're gonna go through each one of them. We go through dishwashers, washers, dryers, ranges, refrigerators, ice machines, you know the routine. So we're gonna talk about washing machines. The biggest thing with washing machines, overstuffing or overloading your washers with clothes. When you're putting your clothes in there so much and you're taking your broom handle and you're stuffing it down inside that, around that agitator, does it actually get washed? No. Does it affect your machine? Absolutely. You're, you're working this thing really hard. It affects the belts, it affects the transmissions, things will break inside the gear case. There's some things that you definitely want to avoid, uh, overloading the machine, and then also, my pet peeves, we've talked about this on the previous video, clean your washing machines. It's really important to do it. Let's move on to dryers. The biggest thing with dryers is clean your lint filter. Every load, pull it out, clean it off, throw in the trash can. My favorite thing is when I go to customer's house and they tell me they clean them all the time and I pull that lint filter out, take the lint off there and I've got this, this thick and then I've got, it looks like a, a rock you broke in half. I've got reds and blues and greens and they're all in layers. Mr. Serviceman, I honestly do it every time. Uh-huh. Clean your filters. That really affects your machine. Because when you do that, basically you're making the machine having to work longer per load because it takes longer to move the air through the product to the outside and get rid of that wet, moist air inside of it. Instead of running for an hour, it runs for three hours to dry a load. That affects it. Also, most manufacturers recommend you do have your venting cleaned in your home about every seven to 10 years. So if you haven't had your venting cleaned in your home, hire a cleaner, have them come out and clean that out. And that will also allow the unit to breathe easier and actually allow your unit to last longer. All right, deadly set number three, ranges. Self-cleaning can be and is detrimental to your product over time. If you're getting something 800 to 1,000 degrees to basically char and burn everything to a crisp inside your oven, you're basically affecting the oven itself. Help me, help me, I'm all fried in here. It's going to affect how well it works and how long it's gonna last because it affects the heating elements because the heating elements are getting so hot. It's affecting the fans, it's affecting the thermostats, it's affecting everything within this product. Don't self-clean it all the time. Self-clean it when necessary. Necessary. What I mean by necessary, if it's a little dirty or dusty at the bottom, yeah, you can take a rag and wipe it out. You know, if it's really bad, yes, go ahead and do it. I would recommend only cleaning at the maximum two times a year. Other than that, wipe the big spills out. Don't be doing it because there's a crumb that's left in there from baking your cookies. Don't do it. You're only affecting how long this product is gonna last. And don't self-clean it before Thanksgiving. For the love of Pete, people, I love you. Don't self-clean your oven two days before Thanksgiving and say, it's not gonna be ready for Thanksgiving. Well, no, the sky is falling. Don't do that. If you're gonna self-clean it, self-clean it at least a month before Thanksgiving, and then it'll be fine for Thanksgiving day. Now, some have what's called steam clean. Now, steam clean is a much better option if you're gonna go with that route, because the steam clean has a pan base at the bottom, you put water in the bottom, and the bottom of the pan gets hot, and it basically steams the oven. Most of the stuff will wipe off. It's a better option than the regular self-clean. This is a bonus tip. We always talk about surges and how they can affect your appliances. Most appliances now have electronics in them of some variety. The manufacturers do design them to take a little bit of a power surge or a power bump, but they can be affected by it. The best thing you can do with for any appliance, make sure they're on a surge suppressor if you can. It's the best thing for them. I have a surge suppressor at my breaker box that, that, that covers every outlet in my home. Doesn't matter what it is, it's protected by a surge protector out in the breaker box. They are available. Contact a, a licensed electrician. They can tell you all about them and put one in. But definitely put something on your appliances to help protect them from surges, and that will actually help them last longer also. Deadly sin number four, dishwashers. With dishwashers, we have covered this in other videos, the filters in the bottom. You need to make sure you clean those filters. If you don't clean those filters, it doesn't wash right. And if you have really hard water, you need to make sure that you run wash machine cleaners through the product, because that helps get rid of all that minerals and all the stuff that gets down in the machine. Your machine will last much longer because you don't have all these minerals in your machine clogging everything up. So clean the filters inside your dishwasher. Then they send number five. Again, we've covered this before. Clean your refrigerator coils. I know it's kind of a pain. You have to pull your refrigerator out. You have to take off a panel and you have to clean it, but it's gonna make it last longer. I went to a home just the other day and the lady's like, my refrigerator's not working. Well, the compressor went out. I went and pulled the refrigerator out. I literally had half an inch of dust 
on the vent holes. Here's your problem. It's basically choked the refrigerator to death, so it overheated itself and the compressors failed. So clean your refrigerator coils. If you refer to another video, we'll have a link here. If you skip ahead to the five minute and 33 second mark, at that point, it will show you how to clean your coils on your refrigerator. So refer to that, clean your coils, don't make this one of your deadly sins. Deadly sin number six, microwaves. This is pretty basic, but don't put aluminum foil in there. Don't put anything with like metal in there. Let's not have fireworks inside our microwave. And the other one is make sure you press that stop or pause button before you open the door. Because when you open that door, when it's running, basically you cause arcing across the switches. And we've gone across this in another video also, and that will affect how well the microwave will work over, over time. Okay, and our last deadly sin, number seven. This is for all you people that have ice machines. And you know who you are. They're great, they're fabulous. You have to clean them. Is that why that yellow light's blinking on there? Yeah, because you're supposed to clean it. It says, clean me, clean me, clean me. Clean it. My friends, I go out to your homes. I open up your ice machine because you say it's not working. I pull off some panels and it's black. It's black! With mold and junk and guck. And I'm thinking to myself the whole time I'm working on this, oh, I'm not glad I'm not the one eating the ice out of this machine because it's disgusting. There are things you can do to clean it, but don't ask me to take ice out of your machine. Here, taste it, it tastes funny. Mm, no, I believe you. So anyhow, clean your machines. All right, well, I hope this video has been informative for you today. And I hope that you don't commit these deadly sins, you know, that we have, that people commit all the time with their appliances. And that way they will last longer, they will clean better, work better, and you'll have them for a long time. And you're not gonna be spending that money to replace them. So if you have any questions or any comments, please put them below and we'll be happy to answer them for you. We have a video, watch it. I need YouTube views. No.